Hi, this is Gilles. I have an interesting video today for you guys who are into uh, emergency uh, preparedness. Um, how do you contact your family in case you're totally isolated? Let's just say there's a hurricane, there's no cell phone towers, uh, no internet, no electricity, everything is wiped out. How can you contact them? Uh, well, the only way really is to use uh, a radio. Of course, uh, your family members might not be uh, into radio or be uh, ham radio operators, most likely. So, one way to do it is actually to send them an email using a radio. And you can do that if you have a ham radio and a computer. And this video will show you how to do that. What is required to send an email by radio, of course, is a computer. So I'm using a laptop here. It's uh, powered by its own battery. It's running a program called RMS Express. The computer is connected by a uh, USB cable to uh, an interface here, Signalink USB, which goes between the uh, computer and the radio. The radio here is an Elecraft KX3. It's powered by a little battery here. And the only cable that I have coming out of this setup is the antenna cable. The computer is not connected to the internet and it's not connected to um, power. Neither is the radio, of course. So now I already have a message in my outbox. So I'm going to initiate a session after uh, choosing uh, the correct frequency and we'll see how it goes. Sorry, I don't have a uh, screen capture program, but I'm going to stop the session here. So you see the software started broadcasting, calling a specific station going through the interface and the radio is transmitting. Here's the answer. And now they're talking to each other. Now my email is being transmitted through radio waves to another station which in turn will send it through the internet. And of course the two stations, mine and the remote station, can be thousands of miles apart. And that's the beauty of ham radio here. Alright, so you can see it's a fairly simple process. Uh, you only need a computer, an interface, a radio, and of course an antenna, and a battery to power that up. Um, the whole thing can fit in a backpack, so it's, it's fairly portable. Uh, the antenna is a wire that I shot up a tree with a slingshot. It's a 40 foot long wire with a little transformer at the base. Um, and that's it really. Uh, it allows you to send emails um, any way you want. Uh, the system is called WinLink and the mode that you use is called WinMore. Uh, all that is available online, uh, winlink.org I believe, uh, you can check that out. Uh, getting your ham radio license is uh, fairly easy. Uh, you have three different levels, technician, uh, general and extra. I do have an extra license. Uh, to send email, you probably want the general at least, uh, which is, is not very hard to get. You just need to get a couple of books and uh, do some tests online, practice tests uh, on a site called uh, qrz.com. And you can be ready in, uh, in a couple of weeks, really. Uh, there's probably a session somewhere around your, uh, your town. Um, so I think it's, uh, it's a good... Uh, emergency uh, communication system to have and it can really uh, help you a great deal to communicate if uh, you happen to be in a, in a area that's been uh, damaged by weather or anything like that. 
So uh, there you are. Any questions, uh, please post and uh, you will have a great day.